Hi, this is Jason. I want to talk to you today about doing the gig. Uh, most of us, you show up to the gig, you got everything you need. You got a bass, an amp, a cord, whatever, maybe an extension cord. But through the years of gigging, I found that that's not enough. You need to have extras and spares and all kinds of stuff. So I keep all my stuff in this toolbox. Each one of these things is uh, has a story of, well, almost each one of these things has a story of when I needed it and didn't have it. So I'm going to unpack this and tell you about what's in here. Here you got a bunch of speaker cables, various ends, banana plugs, uh, quarter inch, um, different kinds of speaker cables. Here you got patch cords, uh, which are just shorter quarter inch cables, um, various sizes and stuff, extra strings. Here you got tools, um, Allen wrenches, screwdrivers, pliers, a little bit of graphite, uh, a brush. Here I've got a rag, extra cables, these are all instrument cables. Um, Just various sizes of instrument cables. Uh, here, you don't have to keep these in your toolbox, but these are, uh, depending on who you get the cable from, if you send them a cord that doesn't work, and they'll send you back one that does. Uh, so keep these things that come that come wrapped in your cords. Here I got, this is just extra stuff, uh, knobs. These things, uh, it's just a little bit of foam. You can put it under your pickups. Uh, if something happens to the screws or the little springs that hold the pickup, you can stuff some of this underneath and it will hold the pickup up. Uh, Sharpie for set lists. Weird cable connectors. You never know what kind of stuff you're going to need uh, to play CDs and stuff. Some of this stuff is not for the bass, some of this stuff is for the other, to make the gig happen, it's for the other instruments, uh, <laughs> which brings me to these. Guitar picks, I don't use a pick, nothing wrong with that. If you do, uh, perfectly fine, but I, I don't have these for me, I have these for the guitar players, because for some reason they always show up without enough picks. Uh, these, I know you're wondering what this is. It's a hair tie uh, from the dollar store. We got like 15 of these for a dollar. I'm going to come back to that in a second, but uh, you can buy the expensive ones from Guitar Center. Uh, these things work just as well. Here I got a microphone uh, just in case. Here I've got an extra strap. This is an extra uh, thing for like a gig bag or something. This is just a piece of leather. You can use this to fix almost any strap. Um, and over here, I got a bag full of uh, connectors and stuff. You got some things that are obvious, you know, quarter inch to, uh, for the microphone, little connectors. Uh, one of these clips you can use if you're outside and you've got a chart or music and stuff. Use this to hold your music on the stand. Uh, extra fuses for the amps, um, mic, uh, mic uh, clips, and actually that goes over there, extra mic clips. Those things break, you know, nothing lasts forever. Okay, over here, I got my electric stuff, which you can kind of see there. If you know what it is, no explanation required. Uh, an electric soldering iron, a regular soldering iron, wire strippers. Um, these things are used to cover up the bare wires, and so this goes with it. Put this on before you 
put this on before you solder it, then you just slide it up, light the lighter and it'll shrink up, uh, solder, solder, heat sink, uh, multi-tools, electrical tape, more screwdrivers. Uh, these things I found useful, they're just spare 9 volt connectors. Uh, it can, that can really ruin a gig if you don't have a, a battery that works. A couple of things I forgot to mention from the toolbox. Extension cord. Um, can't tell you how many times I got to the gig and had to put my amp in a weird spot because I couldn't plug in. So that allows you some freedom. <clears throat> also, you never know what you're going to find. I mean, uh, there will be power somewhere, but sometimes it's under the stage, it's in the back, there's a generator, it's over there, you know, on a truck, it's uh, 100 feet away, I mean, all kinds of crazy things, so you want to be as prepared as you can be, so you can do the gig, and the other thing, it's very important, uh, the hand truck, now, some of you young guys, you know, I don't need that, well, whatever, I like to save my energy for other things, so I have the hand truck, and uh, it's a one-trip deal, if I have to park a quarter mile away, I can put the cabinet, the rack, the toolbox, carry the base in a gig bag. I can park wherever I need to park and walk to everything I need to do the gig uh, to the stage.